Hi, because I'm a crystallographer, I get excited when I see crystals of things. And so when I'm making coffee, sometimes I pick up one of these and there's sugar in there. And I open it up and, and I look, and look at that, there's a bunch of crystals in there. there so go. we can learn more about that really easily. So I'm gonna take a few of these sugar crystals and put them on this slide, and then we're gonna look under the microscope. So look at the screen over there. I'll slide this into the okay. into so you can see them on the monitor. And there they are, sugar crystals. Yep. Well, I'm going to pick one out, and I'm going to put it on a little crystal holder. Okay. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's just a little tiny mount with a little nylon loop in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I've, I've stuck a crystal on there, and we're going to go shoot x-rays at it. All right. So I've set the mount on, on here, and if you back up just a little bit, you'll see we're going to, x-rays are going to come out of here. If we needed to cool it down, we could cool it here. This stops the beam from hitting, from going further, but the x-rays that diffract from the crystal are gonna hit this detector back here. Now what I have to do is I just have to move it with this device to get it centered so the x-rays will hit it. And there I've got it in the beam. We'll spin it around, make sure it stays there. Yeah, looks good. Okay, now. That looks like a ring. Yeah, it does, it, it looks like a diamond <laughs> ring. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna check to see if it is a crystal. There they are, see all those spots? So yep. it diffracts x-rays, it is a good crystal. It tells me that I can learn a lot more about this if I just do a simple experiment. So over on the software, I don't know if you can see this, but right here there's a button that says, what is this? Well, that's exactly what I wanna do. I wanna know what is this. So I'm gonna hit that button and I'm gonna tell it to start. And if you look back at the instrument, you see it's going to move the detector around and you can see this well the shutter's open now uh -huh. and it's going to collect a few frames of data and so we measure the intensity of those and then we do some calculations and if we look over here we see that there's a data reduction going on it's done collecting the data oh, and now a molecule has popped up and you see the gray ones are carbon the red ones are oxygen, the white ones are hydrogen, and that's the structure of sugar. So in less than about a minute, after putting the crystal on there, we figured out the structure of sugar, and that just excites me to no end. Not that I don't know the structure of sugar. It's just an exciting time to be in this world of crystallography. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.